Hoping versus knowing. Waiting without wavering. And this came from a, uh, a daily devotional by the Reverend Dr. David Jeremiah. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23. A young girl finishes swim practice at 8 p.m. on a dark winter's night. Standing in front of the swim club building, she waits for her father, who has promised to pick her up by 8.15. By the time all the other parents, children, and cars have departed, she stands alone, still waiting. An hour later, she sees her father's car approaching. After explaining he had to change a flat tire, she says, that's okay. I knew you'd come. That young girl waited without wavering. There is a difference between waiting while hoping a promise will be kept and waiting while knowing a promise will be kept. Waiting while knowing leads to waiting without wavering. A child learns by experience that a parent is trustworthy. And parents learn about God's faithfulness the same way. The difference is thousands of years of experience versus a few years. The Bible is a record of God's faithfulness to his people over millennia. If you are waiting on God, wait without wavering. He is never late. He always keeps his promises. He is always true to his word. And ending with this right here, a quotation from a man by the name of Jerry Bridges, the promises of God are nothing more than God's covenant to be faithful to his people. It is his character that makes these promises valid. And the recommended scripture reading for this comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. Praise God.